Hi guys, and this is a video on a, we a tutorial walkthrough for uh, SUSE Studio. And SUSE Studio is a, a new web based service which allows you to create a customized distribution, your own customized Linux distribution based on OpenSUSE. And it's really easy, and currently it's only for open up for invitation only, where you can request for an invitation on the sign up page which can be easily done. Now here, I can sh I need to choose my base template. I'm going to be choosing just enough OS, which is the open to supported um, um, base distribution. And you can also choose GNOME, KDE, KDE 3 and all that. So it's recommended to choose this. And of course, after that, you need to choose your architecture, which is 32-bit for me. After that, name your appliance. Give it a name. It's oh, I know, oh Linux. Uh, I have already created, and it's all Linux. And all right, let's see then. After that, after you have assigned your client appliance name. Click switch to the software tab to continue and you'll be able to select packages and software packages um, for applications you want you'd like to install on your distribution. Note this really neat tool there to keep track of your space, disk space and all that. Here I've already got um OpenSUSE's repository where it's it's a server which stores um lots and lots of applications and if you like I like to add a, a repository or um, uh, an executable uh, application package I can also add that but since I already got some of the OpenSUSE repositories I can s get started by searching for applications and oh I can click categories which I like to search applications for so Right, and now all you have to do is um, search for applications and click Add to install applications you want and note the disk space. And of course, and if I move this a bit, sorry, I can see the popularity rating on the left, on the right hand side. And so it's, I just need to add some applications. Yep. After and um, don't forget to search for yes, because that that you need to um, take th add this one to your basket because that one allows you t your um, live media to be installed. Otherwise, um, your s your distribution won't be able to um, install and. And of course, after that, um, go to the next tab, which is configuration. And now we can configure our system by um, our language keyboard layout and time zone, which I'm going to be using Asia. Yep. And you can configure your network. I'm going to go with the default. And I can enable firewall, but I need and firewall additional firewall packages so if I take this it will say on the left hand side here sorry we say on the left hand side here that for um, the packages I need for the firewall so you can easily click the packages right here and down here I can choose the root user root password uh, which is used for administrative tags and this is my default user account a user with a password and as other users to the system too otherwise click other things I can select a logo and select a background and I'll get a, pre a nice little preview of my um, distribution bootloader and all that so I'm gonna click blue start up I can choose um, 
I can choose a graphical login and all that. I'm gonna go with the console bit. I can add an EULA license agreement so that it's just a license agreement where uh, users might must accept to um to t in order to use the operating system, such as like by installing, you must not use Windows and all that but of course you need additional packages stated right here which I haven't installed so make sure you install the right packages I can configure the server desktop I want tux, user tux to automatically log in I can also configure my auto start applications and otherwise my memory source scripts all other things would remain the same now onto here you can add uh, custom files to your clients so if you know what you're doing you can select um, a custom a custom files but you don't really need to mess around with this of course select the last tab which is build which now you are able to select which um, sort of live image or anything the output file of your distribution it could be a hard disk, a USB stick uh, a live USB or for the hard disk or anything like that it could be a live CD or a DVD so that your distribution can be booted up from the uh, CD or DVD it could be a VMware or Zen virtual machine image it's much more compressed and it's designed to run entirely on a virtual machine I'm going to go with a live CD DVD and click build it will start the build and your live image should be ready for a second in a f few minutes I'll be back alright guys and after your distribution has been built is here I can just download the live image so that I can burn it to a CD or s anything like that and of course if you leave it for a while it will delete your image and before I go off and download uh, you can test drive which is this test drive feature whoops it allows you to run uh, the distribution entirely from the website in a flash based um, feature where you don't have to download, you don't have to um, have the live image or anything like that you can run it on an engine entirely from the website on the on the browser so here it would be cool to test out and mess around with your system it, you will be able to boot up your system and use it as if you you have already got the image but yeah entirely on the website so if when you are satisfied you can download the live image but now ooh, there's the server is currently busy and it doesn't allow me to do the test drive so I'm sorry but um, this probably won't go away for um, a few hours or something like that and so I'll be showing the test drive feature on a separate video when I have a chance to and please and that's probably it for the SUSE studio walkthrough please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again